Blackburn just in behind him. Lee losing it, coming around the end of the bend. And uh, Gagnon taking advantage of that, going out in front. Blackburn ending up at the back of the pack. And there, Lee just wobbling and stuttering, coming out of the bend. Nothing he could do about it. And just slid to the side. And he knew then there was no point. It was too late on in the race. He wasn't going to make it up. Those three had gone as far as he was concerned then, particularly Gagnon. And Terrell making his bid. But I think just missing out on second place, he just brought himself up a little bit early. And if that had been the final, he'd have been kicking himself. Well, Terrell there certainly could have pushed his foot forwards. And, uh, well, in fact, gets it. Well, he gets it because Blackburn has been disqualified. Blackburn's disqualified for presumably pushing Lee. Although we didn't see, there might just have been a flick of the hand. As Lee went, he seemed to lose it, and I think Blackburn just touched him with his hand. I think there were two things that happened there. But Blackburn has definitely been disqualified, and I think it's that little maneuver with his hand as Lee went. I think that might be a little harsh. I think if you watch it here, Here's Lee out in front. Now watch Blackburn, number eight here. Lee loses it, and there's a little touch there. Look, off he goes, just flicked him away, and it certainly didn't help. Well, I think that was almost self-preservation because uh, uh, no doubt about it, Lee had lost all control, and uh, Blackburn trying to make sure that uh, he didn't get tangled up in the mess. Now the start of the Battle Royal. Well, when I first started to uh, covering short track speed skating some five, six years ago. I remember Nicky Gooch as a rather thin, pale young man who was very much in awe of Wilf O'Reilly. But gradually over the years, he's developed into a real powerhouse of a skater. And there's real self-belief there now. I saw him just a few weeks ago at Guildford, and he was absolutely convinced that he was going to do himself justice here. He wasn't putting any pressure on himself to get any medals. But he knew it was going well. And he made O'Reilly out as one of his targets. Well, there's no O'Reilly in this final, but what a final it is too. The Olympic champion, Kim Ki-hoon, number 33, on the outside. Gooch nearest to him. And then Che Ji-hoon, second Korean. And the Canadian on the inside, but not the Canadian we thought, Campbell. It is Derek Campbell from Cambridge. So a real chance of a medal here for Gooch if he skates well. If he skates to his potential, he should at least get a medal. There's Campbell on the inside, 21 years old. His first Olympics. Skater number 32, representing Korea, Sha Yi Hong. Now we know from all his events so far, he will try and make it a real competitive race very early on. And that will suit Nicky Gooch, because Nicky Gooch too has stamina on his side. But here's the favorite. Olympic champion at this distance in Albeville. And gold medalist too in the Relay, double Olympic champion. So Kim, the favorite on the outside, and Gooch settles in at the back. And in the early stages, at least, it's gonna be a tactical race. Campbell it is who leads. Che in second place, but he won't wait long before making his move. It's in Gooch's interest to have a fast pace as well. Gooch now moves up in front of the two Koreans into second place. Campbell in front, and uh, this a very sedate pace indeed. Really a touch of cat and mouse, and Campbell there accelerating. Gooch staying with him, the two Koreans locked just behind. This is where Che makes his move normally with about five laps to go. Will he now? Will he be allowed to? The pace is stepping up, and here comes Che. It's Campbell who leads from Che. Gooch on the inside. At the moment, the favorite at the back. Well, Campbell looking very strong indeed. Gooch keeping himself out of trouble, just sticking in behind Campbell. The two Koreans very, very dangerous at the back. Gooch needs to keep his eye on them. And again, 
Kim now coming around the outside. Here comes Gooch making his move on the inside. And he and Campbell stuttered. Now, did he go on the inside of the marker? It looks all right, in which case if he stands up as a medal, but which color? A lap to go. Gooch on the outside. It's Kim who leads through Gooch, and he nearly went then. He was lucky to hold up. Gooch in the silver medal position. Kim going for his second successive Olympic gold medal. Gooch in second place. And Gooch gets the silver. Che the bronze. So provided there's no disqualification, Nikki Gooch has the silver medal to go with the bronze from Torval and Dean last night. But there's the man, gold medalist the for the second successive time. But congratulations here to the 21-year-old from Roehampton, Nikki Gooch. Well, that really was a fast and furious race over the last few laps. And Nicky Gooch battled his way through, certainly very, very tight indeed. Kim really dictated the pace on the last couple of laps, but a great battle between Nicky Gooch there and uh, Che, the second Korean. Well, disappointment for Campbell. I just hope that uh, Gooch and Campbell didn't make any contact. And he nearly went right at the end, Gooch, and was almost, I think, held up by Che behind him. Yes, it certainly was a hairy final bend. Had to uh, just stand on two feet. And they're a great picture. What a man he is. 26 years old now from Seoul. His third Olympic gold medal, and who's to say he won't get a fourth in the relay? Because they have an immensely powerful squad, the Koreans. Just the uh, change of pace, isn't it? They come out of the, the bend, an extra two strides, a little bit of bounce in the knee, dig in deep, and uh, away they go. And so unpredictable, they can just uh, come right from the back of the pack, accelerate so quickly, the lead can change in an instant. Well, congratulations to him. We're still waiting for final confirmation of the result. Here's that incident. Well, I don't really think that Gooch contributed to that. I think Campbell really had put too much pressure on that inside edge and was asking too much of the skates. Here he goes. If anything, Campbell was uh, infringing Gooch. Still no confirmation at the moment. Here's the final bend. The uh, dangerous moment had come just before that. But he was away and gone, Kim. Gold medal for him. And Gooch, look at that. Mighty pleased with his silver medal, and he should be. Fantastic performance. And it shows that British short track speed skating is not just Wilf O'Reilly. Oh, great, uh, an Olympic medal to go with uh, Gooch's European, European gold. And, uh, well, a great evening for British speed skating. And, of course, the, uh, the World Championships will be in Guildford on the Easter weekend. So uh, any viewers back home interested in going to support Gooch and uh, O'Reilly in the British Championships, it's on from the 31st of March through to the 2nd of April. And O'Reilly's not finished, of course. On Thursday, he has a chance to come back in the 500 meters, which is his pet event. Very much a sprint merchant. Usually very good in the cut and thrust. Wilf O'Reilly. And provided he can skate clear of trouble, who knows what he might achieve. But I sense there that the drama that's befallen him over the last few months might have taken its toll with his girlfriend so tragically injured. Well, it certainly has been a rough few months for uh for Wilf, and uh, we wish him and his girlfriend Monique Velzebour all the very best. Now, there's obviously still some consternation. Oh, did he push it? My word from that angle. 
Well, it was very close. I think you're right. I think your initial reaction was right. I think that Campbell was coming in to take his ground, but it's still not been announced, and that is a worry. Well, my palms are sweating. I don't know about yours, yes. Simon. And I'm sure Nicky Gooch is having an anxious few moments as well. Still, it shouldn't be long until we get confirmation of the result. And let's hope it's a medal for Great Britain and Nicky Gooch. But definitely, it's Kim who is the gold medalist. Well, we'll obviously give you that just as soon as we possibly can. We have the latest technology right in front of us, and it's still as soon as it gives its information, which it gets directly from the officials scoring table then we will pass it on but at the moment there is no confirmation we can give you that Nikki Gooch has got that silver medal the skaters warming up now for the B final in the 3000 meters Well, it has to be said that uh, in the A final, Canada certainly the favourites. And uh, a long, long wait here. The Russians out on the ice, the Italians. Yes, Russia, Italy, France, and Holland in the B final. For uh, Russia, for Russia, we have the following skaters: 140, Yekaterina Mikhailova; 141, Marina Pilayeva; 142. And Yelena I can Kamala, tell you that Troitskaya. it's a very sad moment that Nikki Gooch has been disqualified. Well, I have to say, I think he's a little unfortunate, but he has been disqualified, and that is a great shame. So no medal for Britain. And I'm a little crestfallen, I have to say. Well, uh, he was so close, so unlucky, because uh, it really did look as though um, Campbell had cut right across in front of him and got his left arm across his knees, in which case Nicky's Gooch, Nicky Gooch's right arm came out and uh, just touched Campbell. I'm sure that uh, Nicky really didn't infringe Campbell. Campbell was always going to fall. Well, there's got to be some appeal, I would have thought. I'm sure there's a lot of <laughs> conversations going on there from the, uh, the British team, but uh, I fear that may be the uh, final result. So if that is right, and uh, we suspect it is, Kim takes the gold, Che takes the silver, and Campbell takes the bronze for Canada. So it would be a career... 1-2. Not that it was unexpected, but Nicky Gooch had done so well. He didn't take a line inside the markers, did he? That's the other thing I was slightly concerned about. I think if he did go inside the markers, it was because he was pushed inside. Yeah, no, I think his, uh, his skate did stay on the, the correct side of the markers. Certainly, the end there, there was a battle with uh, Che as well. Gooch came across in front of Che. I don't know whether the, the judges would look upon that as an infringement. But uh, you're always going to have a little bit of hustle and bustle in an Olympic final. Oh, what a disappointment for Nikki. Well, the marker's now out, and uh, the skater's getting ready. So, confirmation that the uh, B-final 
will be between France, Holland, Russia and Italy. Italy have made one change in their team. Skater number 123, Katja Kortori, will skate instead of number 125, Mara Urbani. We're getting these changes as you are, so Katja Kulturi changes and comes in instead of Mara Urbani. And just to give all their squad a go. Well, some of the skaters, I should think, needing a little bit of a rest. It uh, really is quite demanding, the uh, relay. Well, it's very, very exciting indeed. Number one and Olympic champion, uh, Kim Kion, Korea, 134.57. Number two, second, Sha Chi Hong, Korea, yes. 134.57. Confirmation of the. Nicholas Gooch and Terry Campbell disqualified. Ah, Campbell and Gooch have been disqualified. That is not up on our computer. Campbell was disqualified for not finishing. Campbell not finishing. So does that mean that Gagnon takes the bronze from the B final? I think it may well do. It certainly does, and uh, Campbell will be kicking his heels. Gave away a bronze medal. Sure did. And he gave it to his compatriot. Well, unbelievable stuff. I still think that's tough on Nicky Gooch, but then I would. New Olympic record by Canada, 426.94. The world record is 426.56, held by Canada. But it's so a long delay while we await for this B final in the women's 3,000 meters. Canadians who now have a, a bronze medal from a very unexpected source and waiting, of course, for in just a few minutes' time. The ladies will be going for gold in the 3,000 meters. My word, they were impressive, weren't they, in the uh, semi finals with a, a new Olympic record, and they uh, seem to take it really easy halfway through the race. So looks to me as though world records on. Certainly a lot of hustle and bustle in the uh, semi-finals. United States of America, we feel perhaps a little fortunate because there was certainly a bit of confusion in one of the changeovers. Got muddled up with uh, the Dutch team, but uh, America do qualify. So in the A final, it's Canada, China, Korea, and America. And here in this B final, Russia, Holland, Italy, and France. And a long delay now, and I wonder if they're trying to find Mark Gagnon to tell him that far from being a wretched day, he's actually ended up with a bronze medal. Concern. No one is absolutely sure what has occurred. I think even the major officials on the Canadian team. But it looks very much like Gagnon has got the bronze medal. Let's get down to work with the 3,000 metres ladies B final. In lane number two, skater 141, Marina Pilaeva, Russia. Holland on the inside, the then Russia. Russia. Skater 115, Valerie Baritza, France. Then France. We have on the feeder, lane four, skater 121, Barbara Baldessera. And Barbara Baldessera goes at the start for Italy.
Holland on the inside. Russia, France, and Baldazero starts off for Italy. And no tactics here other than blast off. Nothing to be gained from holding back. And Russia who take the early lead, and uh, a good one it is too. And a good changeover. So Russia well out in front and uh, dictating the pace early on in this race. Victoria Trotskayeva it is who starts. And in second place, Katia Mosconi for Italy. Netherlands and France. The back. And a hairy few moments there on the changeover for the Russians. But, uh, the Italians hanging on in there. Russian still out in front. Italy losing a little bit of ground now. The Russians starting to pull away. 